Hello everybody. So today I'm going to talk to you about my monthly mark making, my uh, marking seasons project. Uh, but before I do that, I just wanted to uh, say a quick thank you for all the new subscribers um, coming in thick and fast now. So I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And I also wanted to mention that uh, I said last week that I was developing my online course and it was almost ready to, to share. And now I'd like to announce that um, as of this week, my online course, Making Your Mark, is now open. And it is all about expressive uh, mark making and exploring the marks that are of interest to you out in the landscape. Now, um, if I, I'll put in the details uh, at the bottom of this video uh, a link which will give you a discount of 25% off the price. Uh, and if you follow that link, it will first of all uh, take you to the landing page, which will explain a little bit more about the course in detail and the lesson structure and the fact that it's an online course. There's a private Facebook group. You will have a year's access. Uh, it's not a live course as such, but I'm using uh, an ongoing project as the demonstration out in the landscape. Uh, and there's lots of videos and downloadable documents and so on. So the link to uh, that discount is in the uh, details. Uh, so I thought I'd just highlight that to you. Um, and this work here that you can see is partly uh, produced on, on, that, on that course. Okay, so now on to today's lesson. Uh, I'm gonna share with you some footage I took a few days ago, actually still in April, so kind of last week, this, this book that I'm gonna show you um, was created for, for April. And I'm doing these monthly if you've been following so far. If not, um, if you take a look, um, there's a whole set of them. And I started in January, so I've got January, February, March already there. And what I'm talking to you about today is April's. And it's really quite exciting to start looking at it now because um, I'm noticing, I'm just going to share with you April's for now, but I'm noticing when I look at the others, um, it's really interesting how the colours and the marks are changing. And of course, with April and now spring is really here. There's a lot of, of real reflection of that um, on this uh, month's uh, booklet. Um, so I'm going to share that with you, the footage outside. And then I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, share with you a walk through the finished folded booklet. OK. Hello. So here we are again. And I'm about to go down to do my monthly mark making. And here we are now at the end of April. So the fourth month of doing this. And obviously now the colours have changed quite dramatically and there's lots of limey rich greens going on. And I can see the green of the hills. I'm not sure I've got enough of the different, right different colours, but I'm focusing really on a combination of marks as well as colour, so I don't want to get too caught up with that. I'm just trying to be sort of reflective of the changes, really, in a broader sense. So hopefully you can see the sort of wonderful views. And really strong clouds, actually. I'm sorry that if this is too jittery, because I'm sort of stepping down, but for the first time you can see there's really strong shadows and things. So... Once I get to the place, I'm just going to do a little bit of a, a tour of the scenery so that you can see the different hills and moors. So as I go over there in the far distance, we've got um, pots and pans and dove stones. And then the slope that's got the limey green and the trees on the edge of it. That is Moon Sun Hill. And then as we go over, we've got the castle and then Slate Moor, Slate Pit Moor. And so on it goes. Hopefully you can see how the leaves are coming out on the trees and you still see the really strong branches. So anyway, I'm gonna get myself set up and get going.
Okay, so this is the folded A2 sheet that you saw on the video. And uh, I just wanted to mention that when you do this, after you've folded, and by the way, I do demonstrate the folding in a previous month, so I'll put the link to that uh, in the uh, notes for this uh, video, so you can check that out if you didn't see it before. But um, once it's folded up and cut, and this it ends up like this, what you need to do is to stick together uh, the pages to, to support them to make a stronger sort of structure. So I just thought I'd kind of mention that, and I might have mentioned it on the previous one, but I just wanted to kind of uh, mention that again really because otherwise it is very sort of floppy and it kind of keeps falling apart. So I'll now walk through this uh, particular one and as I say this is the making sure you can see it. So this is April and uh, what's really nice about it is the uh, colours are really changing now and so there's so much limey green and yellow and um, a sort of a a glow to the to the light and to the landscape that, that it wasn't there before it was much flatter and that gives a depth so on here it's quite nice because you've got the limey green coming through um, but you've also got all of this lovely this is actually a pastel um, and some of the yellow um, the rich yellow here for example uh, is Indian yellow uh, water watercolor uh, paint and both of those actually, both the pastels and the watercolour paints, and actually the brown uh, Paris Red Inca from Wallace Seymour. Uh, and then you can say ink tents here and some charcoal and so on. So it's quite nice how once you fold it up, the paint, you know, it looks quite different, obviously, because you're getting little snippets, um, which is really nice. This, uh, again, has got quite a lot of pastel on it. Um, so the pastel uh, is here. And this, again, is another sort of coloured pastel that I was pushing into the paper to reflect the kind of the more muted tones, I suppose, of the more distant moors. Uh, of course, now it's it's in a different location, so I kind of turned it upside down and the wrong way out and so on. Uh, and this is flicked uh, paint uh, here. Uh, but it's, again, it's that variety in this sort of nice sort of spidery line that leads its way off the page and onto the next one, I guess. So then this is a really lovely limey uh, spring uh, scene. And this is these uh, delicate branches here are from the foreground uh, trees that are now coming into leaf. So lots of the sort of limey green there going on now. And this actually is the edgelands in the distance, uh, dark because they are quite uh, in shadow uh, and so on. So nice sort of effects going on really. And then this is quite nice because where the moors are now at the tops of them, some of them are still really dark, but where the light hits, you get these lovely golds and um, browny, rusty colours, kind of rich colours. And this is kind of reflected here, really. Uh, more of that uh, ch uh, charcoal and more of that limey green and then more of the sort of the staccata effects of, of, of some of the marks that you see out into the landscape now. And these were where I was spraying and the water was dripping down through the inks and through the watercolour. So this is quite interesting because on this one, um, it's got the, the distant moors that I was saying to you are darker. And I think that kind of reflects that sort of colour. And these are some of the trees that are coming out in all different sort of colours, really. So there's sort of pinky leaves and there's goldy leaves and there's lime green leaves. And it's that kind of swathe of different mixtures of colours I was, I was marking there and, and getting in in different ways and rubbing into the paper and then using a sort of pencil. Um, so that's that. And then, you know, more of the limey green and those are the colours that we've been talking, talking about, more of the sort of sludgy, sludgy greens. And then this is the final page. And this is actually reflecting some of the lovely trees. There is a, a light, a, and you'll have seen it on the video, there's a nice, uh, on the on the right, as I took, it, took you around the, the, the view, uh, there is this sort of lovely uh, group of trees uh, that are very architectural and have lovely sort of spidery uh, branches going off it that almost kind of connect into the moors. But they're very architectural, almost like, I think they might be plane trees actually. And they're kind of coming into leaf, there's all that liminess going on. There was some really dramatic cloud uh, 
cover uh, on the day that I did this, on the last day of April. And then obviously that sort of paint again, that darkness of the of the moor, the inky moors in the distance. And then some of these other sort of lines and marks I was making. And, and you get sort of really lovely bleeding effects as the sort of mixed together. And you get this sort of like the red chunkiness of this dark against the much more sort of spidery faint lines of the of the finer uh, twigs and, and uh, branches of the of the trees. And then, of course, that lime is coming through and that lovely turquoise because it was quite a blue sky with dramatic clouds, as I said. Anyway, I hope uh, you found that, that interesting. On other videos, I will start making the contrast now that I've got four months worth. I can start sort of looking and showing the differences um, as you move from winter into spring and so on. Um, but that's for another day. And I'll also start looking at the, at the covers and how, how those get done. And I'm also thinking about producing a combined book that kind of combines some of each of the months. And so that's all for discussion in future, future videos. So thank you very much for watching. And please do like and subscribe. And just a reminder that my Making Your Mark uh, online course is now available and there's a great discount of 25%. So I've put, I'll put the link into the show notes or into this uh, video notes. So if you click that link, you go to a landing page and then if you click enroll, then you get the 25% discount. So thanks very much again and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.